friends. You'll notice in some of our videos, we use colored rice to dig through to find the objects that we're counting or to find the animals that have gone astray. These are sensory bins and they're really great tools and toys for toddlers to play with when they're figuring out their sense of touch and working on their fine motor skills. So in this video, I'm gonna give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make your own sensory bin. Are you ready? Let's get started. sensory bin, you'll need a few items that you can find from around the house. You'll need a gallon plastic bag, uncooked white rice, distilled white vinegar, food coloring of your choice, a measuring cup, a teaspoon, parchment paper, oops, parchment paper, and a bin. So the ratio for the vinegar and rice is going to be one cup of rice for one teaspoon of vinegar. So I've gone ahead and added four cups of white rice to our bag and we'll put in the vinegar. I recommend opening a window or a door because your kitchen is going to smell like vinegar until it dries. Then you'll want to add your food coloring of choice. Every color of rice is going to take a different amount of food coloring. So it really depends on you on how dark a color you want the rice to be or how light. I have found that green takes a lot of food coloring to make it a nice dark green color. Once you've added a squirt of food coloring in, you're going to seal up the bag and mix it. part is also really fun to do with your kiddo because it's mess free as long as the bag stays sealed and it doesn't get their hands dirty and they have a lot of fun squishing it. It feels kind of weird actually. Okay so once you have your rice and food coloring mixed together to the color that you want it's easiest to lay out some parchment paper and then spread the rice in an even layer to let it dry. Once it dries, the smell of vinegar will go away and it will prevent the food coloring from transferring to your kiddo's hands. One of the great things about sensory bins, besides the fact that they're really easy to make and inexpensive and pretty mess free if you don't mind vacuuming up rice every once in a while, is that they keep for a really long time. So you can add any number of toys to your bin and just let your toddler have fun with it. If you wanna add an, an additional element, you can add the scoop or maybe a shovel, a fork, a child's fork, of course, spoons, all kinds of things, cups, but it's really fun to play in. And as an adult, it's kind of a stress reliever as well. So I highly recommend it. Well, that's the end of this video. If you found this video helpful and you wanna watch more of our videos, click the big red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. If you have different ways that you use sensory bins in your house, I would love to know about them or see pictures of you and your kiddos playing with your bins. You can always tag us on Instagram at Official Explorer. Well, friends, we'll see you next time. Bye.